I think most of you have seen this already, but this is a post cursor of the Shade Borough, and it features this one girl who went on a bit of a social media tear, deciding to share a story. Oh, whoops, to share a story about her being flewed out by Drake, and the internet went into a bit of a tizzy about it all. And most of the reason why the internet went into a tizzy about it, aside from a girl deciding to go and air out somebody's you know personal business was the fact that the internet decided that this girl wasn't attractive enough for Drake, that somehow Drake could do better than her and that she was obviously um, capping because she's not hot or not conventionally hot in their eyes, that it couldn't happen in any way, shape or form. So I'm going to play a bit of what she said and I'm going to give you some of my commentary at the other end. Mom, Drake had flew me out. So I have made a video and I posted it on my Instagram story. It was a video of me inside a purple lingerie set. And I had tagged Drake inside my story, but I tagged him and I like made it real small so nobody could know that I had tagged him in my story. So I did not know that he was going to even seek it. I'm not even going to lie. So he had texted me in vanish mode and was like, what's your number? With the hard eyes emoji. So I sent my number. Quick. So he called my phone, we chopped it up or whatever, and that's when he was like, he trying to see me, and I was like, I'm trying to see you too. So he had booked my flight for the November 16th. Mind y'all, we texting, talking, all of that, November 13th. So fast forward, I got off the plane, he had sent a private out to get me, but before I went inside his house, they made me sign an NDA. So I can't really say too much, but I had looked at my NDA rules, so I know what I can and can't say. You feel me? So when I get in the house, we just sitting on the couch, chilling, talking. He kept on rubbing. So last month, Drake had flew. So you can tell what the story is going to be. But one of the things that really made me laugh about this whole affair was that there were scores, hordes of men frothing at the mouth, trying to argue the case that this girl wasn't hot enough to fuck Drake, which is legitimately the most gay thing i've ever heard in my entire life like guys legitimately arguing about another man's dick it's like really this is your life this is what you're actually doing and it kind of makes me think of the whole like manosphere in general because there is this vibe or this kind of air of uh, machismo misogyny confidence arrogance that those guys have where they legitimately think that just because they've got a couple of dollars in their pockets, it means that suddenly girls who probably would, the only girls they probably would have maybe attracted if they didn't have any dollars in their pocket are suddenly girls that should never even breathe the same air as them now they have a couple of dollars in their pockets. It's really bizarre because if anything, the money should prove that to be incorrect because if you're somebody that you know is generally unattractive to females to the point where you know even if you don't have money people aren't attracted to you then you suddenly get money and you're attracting the hottest girls in the world it should tell you that they're only there for the money so if a quote-unquote regular girl comes at you you can't then get on your high horse and act like she's beneath you and doesn't deserve your time because essentially that is the only girl you would have attracted when you didn't have any money in the first place when it comes to this girl in particular, I don't necessarily, again, this is just me speaking from experience and knowing how much guys lie, right? And, you know, growing up in a neighborhood of dudes that would fabricate a lot of their flipping lore, a lot of their origin stories. And this, again, this is pre-social media, pre-real internet snooping and whatnot. And people really, you know, calling people out and cap and what. This is pre all that. So you can get away with a lot of stuff back back in the day. But I know little guys lie a lot when it comes to what they've done, who they've seen, who they've been with, what they hit, blah, blah, blah. People lie so often. I can say with some level of confidence, the majority of men out there, over 60% of them who were trying to attack this girl and act like she's not hot enough for Drake, I legitimately can say the majority of them probably have never been with a girl who's as hot as her. I don't think so. Because they're making it seem like she's a gargoyle and even if she was a gargoyle i'd still argue a majority of them probably haven't been many girls that was hot as well. i don't think they have and it kind of i don't know it kind of is another reason why i can't get down with that whole manosphere scene of guys especially the heavily red peeled ones because for whatever reason they treat girls like the lack of humanity that they have when it comes to dealing with women it may, it may be kind of understandable because I feel like a lot of those dudes were dorks in school, right? They were kind of neeks. They never really got any action. They were never cool. They were never popular. They were never funny. They never had friends. They were kind of outcast. So it's sort of like a little bit, it's not even revenge of the nerds because I feel nerds always have friends. You always find other nerd friends. These are like dudes who kind of felt like 
entitled to women they kind of didn't understand why the other kind of dudes like oh why is she with her why is she with him he's a loser he's a waste man that kind of like idiot kind of like um player hater type of energy i feel like those type of dudes are the ones who eventually grow up to be like fresh and fit guys right where you're selling courses on how to say hi and bye to women it's nonsense and i'm actually thinking about it yesterday i was like i was kind of like um loosely tied to like the old school PUA forums back in the day, right? The PUA scene, the pick up artist scene back in the day, because I was always on forums. I kind of just stumbled on it, accidentally being on a forum. And then that kind of led me to reading The Secret, which is most guys have probably read the Neil Strauss book. And that whole pick up artist scene was mostly about improving yourself as a person also, a lot of it. There was a lot of stuff about getting your fashion right, losing weight, getting haircuts that suit you, wearing clothes that, you know, accentuate stuff on you or make you look better, smelling good. And also the ability, and also the, from what I remember anyway, most of it was about trying to overcome the fear of talking to women. That was most of it was about. And again, the, the end goal was about trying to hit as many. There wasn't a lot of talk in there about relationships and trying to find the right wife and stuff. It did happen with a lot of them. A lot of the big PRs end up getting married and whatnot. But most of it was all about like self improvement. And also how to overcome the fear of talking to women because no one can deny it. If you're a straight dude, trying to talk to girls is really difficult, especially if you have no practice, no skill, no confidence. It's really frightening, really scary to go up to a stranger that you may think looks attractive and try to, you know, seduce them in any way, shape or form. It's just, you know, especially in this era, it's just, it's hard. It's difficult. It's difficult. So that's what the pick up wise thing was about. It's just what it is on a tin, try and pick up girls. I have a controversial opinion where I legitimately think the manosphere is worse than the pickup artist thing because at least the pickup artist thing it was about trying to improve yourself to be more attractive and also trying to just get over the fear of talking to girls whereas the manosphere thing most of the guys that are at the forefront of it are very unattractive as just humans like it's not not very likable people right you think of fresh and fit you think of Andrew Tate there's a few others out there, but they're not exactly likable humans. You don't actually want to be their friend. You don't want to go out with a beer with them. I wouldn't imagine. It kind of is fun to be a fan of them because you can be counterculture and kind of, you know, trigger and troll people online, right? It's quite fun. I think in that regard, there's probably some fun in that. But they don't necessarily, I don't know. I don't think of them as cool guys or cool dudes in any way, shape or form. They just get what they get done. But that's the issue for the most part. And it also, I guess, it builds this these guys have like a weird resentment with women and females in general. Now, I don't know what that resentment is all about. Maybe it's because they got rejected so often in school and they feel like now that they're up, that they deserve everything, you know, paid back retroactively in terms of the none. I don't really know. But I feel like all that stuff is incredibly corny, incredibly lame. And if anything is another example as to why it's probably hard out there for a single girl to find somebody that they can settle down with because if these are the guys that they're listening to on a daily um you know that are forming their worldview um informing their lifestyle choices and whatnot it's pretty difficult the, the pool is going to be pretty shallow for options if those are the guys that they deem to be heroes like legit think about it like if you're a girl and you go out to a dude's house and he's got a picture of fresh and fit standing back to back folding their arms looking into the camera dead eyed with that tism smile you're going to be a bit concerned right you, you should probably run for your life also jump out the window wherever it may be you should probably leave and you know it, it, the date probably would have went probably halfway decent and then suddenly he's trying to lecture you on you know uh he's trying to lecture, lecture you on abortion laws on your way back in an uber <laughs> and then suddenly your red flags are going up but i don't know man i thought that whole discourse around it was weird obviously drake played it up with his screenshot never met never spoke never flew i hope people start doing more with their online with their one life we are given the shit is sad out here which is you know understandable if you generally don't know the girl you can definitely see it from that point of view like what are you doing with your time with your life woman why you make up these stories and again it involves him so he's probably allowed to say what he wants in this regard but i feel like the dudes who don't know the guy who are just fans of his music going out there and really trying to defend drake's d-i-c-k and say that nah he wouldn't have smashed that trust me i know i've smelt it you know what i mean i've touched it like that is real g-a-y shit and those are the same guys who are probably the most homophobic also 
which is also really interesting, right? <laughs> Extremely homophobic, but also go out of their way to try and defend another man's DICK. It's like, come on, my guy. You need to relax and kind of rein it in a little bit. But hey, who am I to say when it comes to these things? Who am I to say? So big up Drake for clearing up and big up her for making up the story. And what's the harm in making up a story? Life is boring. Life is mundane. Life is a bit one note. It's a bit drab. If you want to spice things up a little bit and make things interesting, why not make up your story here and there? Who are you really going to harm? No one really believes you anyway because you're just some random person. Not because what you look, just some random person talking to a camera. Why should we believe you? I think we should do that more often going into 2023. There should be more skepticism. If you just do because you say stuff, doesn't mean it happened. So people should be looking at you like, mm, did it really happen though? Cool. And if you provide evidence, cool. If you don't, whatever. But there should be a level of skepticism initially when people say stories. But if you just made it up, I don't really see the problem in it why not make some fun out of your life she probably increased her followers i'm not sure if she her account is open or if it's private probably got loads of followers probably also probably got some decent dms as well people are like saying you know what i would actually hit so let's get to know each other that could also happen maybe some brand deals in the background who knows but still just the the, the feeling of being alive for that week is enough already to make people feel like this is worth it and i don't feel like it's just that big of a deal really and truly all things considered that are going on out there maybe it's a complete waste of time as Drake is saying hey you get one life on this planet you should be spending it legitimately doing the things that you actually enjoy I think someone like a Drake has probably realized especially reaching the the zenith of popularity that he's currently on and making the money that he's made he's realized that there's not anything else that he needs in life so maybe the one thing that he looks at yeah, and thinks rah man I wish I had more of was maybe time but most rich people are like that right that's why they they're into longevity stuff time is a one non-renewable resource so for sure somebody here's position is thinking about that like, raw man at your young age she's maybe what 25 tops you shouldn't be wasting time making up fan fiction about me and me and getting flued out that shouldn't be what you're doing but for us watching it regular civilians just laugh and watch the flipping circus act everyone's in this circus drake included they are entertainment just watch and laugh but legitimately arguing that she, she's too ugly for him knowing full well you don't have a single person on your roster on your collection as flipping future would say that would marry up to her is really 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 egregious really egregious like you need to look at yourself in the mirror wind your neck in a little bit relax chill out like honestly manosphere ting is absolute washed waste kind of stuff 